for, for trying to find out why so many children have asthma, allergies, autism, and cancer, among other diseases, and for helping to inspire many more parents to ask the right questions. Please welcome Heart of Greens Awards guardian, Deirdre Imus. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, this is a quite an honor, and thank you, Daily Green, um, for your um, spirit and dedication to um, bringing awareness to all these important issues on keeping us all healthy. Because that's really what we're talking about when we talk about green, or talking about the environment, or eco-friendly. Um, lots of these words um, that we all use now are really just um, words to say, let's clean our act up. Um, my focus and our focus at the Environmental Center at the hospital and the Imus Ranch um, is on children. And I do believe that if we focus on protecting our children from all these environmental toxins that we already know are making them sick, um, then I think that we then accomplish the bigger picture of the planet being balanced and healthy and our animals um, on the planet also. And um, when you have um, the state of our children's health right now, where cancer is still the leading cause of death by disease in children, and uh, one out of 150 children being diagnosed with autism, one out of 60 boys being diagnosed in the state of New Jersey with autism, one out of six children being diagnosed with a neurodevelopmental disorder, or some kind of learning impairment, and that could be anything from bipolar to ADD, ADHD, depression, and literally hundreds of other types of neurodevelopmental uh, diagnoses. Um, you also have, we have allergies that are in epidemic proportions with our children now. Asthma still be, being uh, the leading cause for absenteeism across the country, one out of 13 to 14 children being diagnosed with asthma, life-threatening asthma. Um, and um, one out of eight babies being born premature, um, one out of 400 to 500 children being diagnosed with uh, diabetes, one out of 400 to 500 children being diagnosed with sickle cell anemia. So I'm saying these statistics on purpose because I think uh, everyone, wherever I speak, I think it's important that if you don't already know these statistics, that, th that these are hard facts on how our children are being impacted by the environment and um, um, through our food, our air, our water, everyday products that we use. And I do believe that uh, we all can just start with one change and then go to the next change and the next and the next. Um, and even that one change does make a huge difference in the life of a child, whether that child's healthy or not. And um, I just want to say I think um, uh, there's this African proverb that I think sums up what I probably just said um, in uh, one sentence, and it says, if you think you're too small to have an impact, um, try sleeping in a room with a mosquito. So thank you very, very much. 